Hey everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be Dollar Tree wedding hacks. I'm super excited to share this video with you guys just because I did so many of my own decorations for, for my own wedding back in 2014 and I went to the Dollar Tree and got so much stuff and you would never in a million years know that any of my decor came from Dollar Tree. So I wanted to share with you guys the top three wedding decor hacks that I use in my own wedding. There are plenty more, but I just wanted to start off with the original three that I had done um, that were my favorite. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first Dollar Tree wedding hack is my absolute favorite. I got so many compliments at my wedding on these just because they were so elegant, yet they were so, so simple. And you would never know, again, in a billion years, they ever came from a Dollar Tree. So I actually used, I think it was eight of these all together to line the table that the guests pick up their name cards at for their seating. Um, so I went ahead and lined the table with that. And I will insert photos of these as well, um, either at the end of the video or the beginning. So you will need uh, a square vase. And then um, I did pick up a bag of the, these are great northern beans is what they're called. And this will actually do probably three or four of the vases once you fill them. And then just a flower. Now, of course, you can always switch these out for a real flower. However, we are doing it the DIY cheap way. I did use cheap flowers. No one knew. Um, so it's just so, so simple. So, so elegant. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open up these. I didn't grab my scissors, but I have my, my wire cutters, so those will work. So I'm gonna like cut in here. And then you'll fill it up. I usually fill it up about halfway but you can definitely fill it up the rest of the way if that's what you choose to do. So we'll set these aside. And then I will take the tag off of this. Grab my handy dandy wire cutters again. Perfect. And then you always wanna kinda of line it up to see how far. You can always go back in and trim, obviously. So there is like a little rivet you can kind of see in there. And I will go ahead and try to cut on that. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right. And then you just stick it right down in. This is too high, so I will have to go lower. So I'll go right under the leaf. Perfect. And you stick it right in. And that is it. And I will go ahead and insert some photos as well so you guys can see. But it's just so, so pretty, so elegant. I absolutely love it. So for the second and third hack, they kind of piggyback off of each other just because there are so many ways that you can utilize this. Um, so they're going to be tissue pumps is what they're called, but I call them puff balls. Um, I probably made at least 300 of these for our wedding and they were so so beautiful at the end. I got so many compliments again I did mine in with the colors of our wedding which were gold blush and ivory I went ahead and picked up just a bright colored pack of paper just because I wanted you guys to be able to see really well against this white backdrop so for this all you'll really need are the packs of tissue. There are 25 sheets in a pack and then a pack of the, um, sorry, the pipe cleaners and there are 45 in this. So let's go ahead and get started. So tissue palms are really so versatile whether you want to use them for a wedding or a birthday or any kind of party really. Um, they're a great and cheap way to add a lot of fun and a lot of color to your space. Um, you can go as big or as little as you you want to go my wedding I had primarily really really large ones um, but for the purpose of this video I am going to cut it down a little bit so it's not quite so large so what I did is I have four pieces of the pink tissue and you lay them all out so they're nice and straight 
I already started cutting, so I'm just going to keep going. So you're going to cut them into four squares. They don't have to be identical, and you'll see why in a second. But as long as they are close, you're good to go. So then you'll take this half and cut it in half again. And then you'll just end up stacking them all on each other. And again, it's up to you how much tissue that you do or do not want to use for this. I'm getting off my straight line here. There we go. Perfect. So you will stick all of these together just like that and then you will accordion fold. So, and again, this is either as large or as small as you like. So I'm going to do an inch or an inch and a half. These are time consuming, however, you're saving so much money that it's worth it to put in the extra time because these online can be anywhere from $2 a piece, I've seen them, Martha Stewart brand, all the way up to like $12 a piece, if not more. So definitely worth the extra time. All right, so once you accordion fold everything, you are just going to hold the middle. And then I actually go ahead and cut just like a little indent, nothing too crazy, just a little. That way it has something, the pipe cleaner has something to kind of stick into. And then you will just take your pipe cleaner, stick it in those little cuts you made, and then you will twist. And if it's a few days away from your party, I wouldn't fluff them out quite yet. Just that way they can be fresh. I actually made all of mine and I didn't open them up until I was at the venue. That way I had a ton of space and I was hanging them right at the exact same time. All right, so once you have creased your paper and have attached your pipe cleaner, you're just gonna come in with your scissors. There are two ways to do this. I chose the rounded edge. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect because you're going to flare these all out and no one is going to notice the little inconsistencies in, in them in the end. So it definitely does not have to be perfect. So you're just going to cut off the edges so it's nice and round. And for those of you who are thinking that I'm backwards, yes, it's because I'm a left-handed. Perfect. All right, so we'll set those aside. And then this is the time-consuming part. Basically, you're just going to unfan one side, take each piece of paper one by one, and fold it down. You do want to be very careful. Obviously, tissue paper is very fragile. So you will, should I do this towards you guys so you can actually see what I'm doing? Take one piece, fold it down, and at the end just kind of pull out a little bit extra. And you will just repeat this a billion times. And it will look so, so good at the end. So how I do it too is I kind of hold the end and then just go back and forth depending on if my tissue is sturdy enough. And that helps as well. And I made one that's very, very full. You do not by any means have to use this much tissue either. All 
All right, almost there. And it's important for the first two that you like really pull it down because as you can kind of tell, the farther along I go, the less space I have to pull down. So it is important that you pull the first couple down as far as you can. All right, so there is one side and then you can just kind of fluff it back up so it looks nice. And then I am going to finish the other side and then we will be right back. Okay, so when I went and re-watched the video, I did notice that I was kind of out of frame a little bit, so I do apologize for that. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. But this is what it looks like at the very end. I went ahead and fluffed up the other side of the puff ball. And as you can see, there are tons of layers. It looks so puffy, so pretty. Um, I've seen brides use these for their actual bouquets instead of real flowers. Um, we chose to hang them from the ceilings and, the, and then also use them as our backdrop, which is why this kind of piggybacks like number two and three kind of bounce off of each other. Just because I'm showing you one way to make this, but there are so many different ways to actually use it. So the way that I r recommend is to either um, get fishing wire and hang them. Um, which is what we did, but then I also um, used, I'm not sure what it's called, um, but you use it in like construction stuff, it's like plastic fencing type stuff, I'm not sure how to explain it, um, but we actually attached all of the puff balls to that and then hung it, um, but I'm sure you could attach it to like a sheet or something too if you wanted to hot glue. We just took um, the ends of the um, pipe cleaners and put them through the holes in the plastic fencing and were able to um, twist it around so it actually stayed up on the wall and again I will show you photos of all of these beautiful things at the end of the video um, but this is it there are so many ways that you can use this and it's just so cheap so easy and they last too I mean you can just always re-fluff them if needed and that is my Dollar Tree wedding hacks video. I could do a part two if you guys are interested. Um, but I wanted to get these out there as quick as I could because I've been promising this video for quite some time. So let me know if you guys have any comments or ideas below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.